are ya? I'm David. And I'm here. Back at Coggershoot Church. Come and see how things are. And to visit a few trees that uh, I haven't yet said hello to. Like this beautiful beast. So, excuse me while I walk up to it and touch it. <sighs> Last time I was here, it was just beginning of spring. And things have come on now. There's a lot on this church. And when lockdown's over, maybe we can get inside and have a look. I'm not shy about looking inside the church. There's a lot of history here, and of course, a lot of trees. Beautiful trees. What a wonderful tree. A big beastie. Wildlife Sanctuary. It says this churchyard is a sanctuary for wildlife. Many of the plants that flourish here are now rare in Essex. For insects, birds and small mammals, this is a haven. Because of the changes in our countryside, areas like this are valuable and should be cherished. For this reason, the churchyard is managed in a way that benefits wildlife. You will find areas left unmown until the plants have seeded and provide food and shelter for the insects and birds that depend on them. Please respect this sanctuary. What a beautiful idea. Because of, as I've said before, this is not just a churchyard. This is a beautiful cathedral. Wonderful. Lots of dog walkers out as well. Good place to walk your dog. As long as they don't start digging up bones, you know what I mean? I think in Coggeshall we're blessed to have Mark's Hall and places like this. Plenty of countryside to uh, enjoy this. On this one, there are some beautiful cones. I'll try and get into an area where I can actually show you. 
all over the place. Well, go and say hello. There's a word, artificial. Our world is full of so much that's artificial. From the fake trees you get at Christmas, to fake, well, fake hair, fake, fake body enhancements. Lots of artificial things, artificial grass. Well, may, maybe they have some place, but the artificial world is uh, nowhere near as amazing as the natural world. Everything. And in a world of technology, they're striving to produce artificial all sorts of things, body parts, organs. They're even searching for artificial intelligence. They should be searching for the real intelligence, not artificial. But they're trying to develop artificial intelligence. Well, if it's artificial, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an odd, odd way of looking at intelligence. Because we've got artificial intelligence already. You only have to look yeah, amongst some of our politicians globally and <laughs> even amongst scientists some of the things that have been developed where well, humans have got this idea that by making their own version of something that is natural somehow it would be better which is not true. I've just spied this tree. Look at this tree. Now this is a fir tree. A beautiful fir tree. But look at the branches. They look like holes have been drilled in the trunk and uh, the branches just stuck in there, just poked in loads of different holes. Which is not the case. If we look all the way up the tree, it's exactly that. Very strange. And there's one next to it too. That one's exactly the same. I wonder what fir tree this is. Beautiful. These trees. But look. <laughs> it's almost like, almost as if a woodpecker's been pecking holes and feels a bit guilty about leaving holes in the tree so he picks up a branch and just shoves it in. <laughs> Very peculiar. Something I hadn't noticed before. Wonderful. This must be a redwood or something. Very 
orangey red ready coloured bark but look we've got a few holes that they've not stuck branches in And of course, if you look down the trunk, that looks like a hippopotamus. Hippo! Hippo in the, in the tree trunk. <laughs> so I'm going to say hello to the hippo tree. Artificial intelligence. Well, you might as well seek out artificial intelligence because there's very little real intelligence down here on Earth, is there? There's an old saying about sitting on the branch of a tree when you're lopping it off but you've got to make sure that you sit on the right end because if you sit on the wrong end when you finish sawing you fall to the ground with the branch and you could say that as humans that's the sort of thing we've been doing with science and the way we've managed nature thinking that we are the ones that are in charge. It's all about, I'm the boss, so I'll do it. Nature, you can't do that. No, 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 not having it. Instead of working with nature. When will we learn? <laughs> when will we ever learn?